everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm setting up the last outdoor elements of the spigot for watering the garden. Uh, if you guys recall, I have a line that goes into the utility room that goes under the greenhouse, passes under the foundation or through the foundation wall, and then uh, lies right on top of the daylight drain, which is the drain that, uh, it's a perimeter drain from around the footing of the foundation, uh, which uh, has a, a nice uh, gravity slope to it so that it, w it will drain any water away from the foundation. I piggybacked my line right on top of that so that when I open up the, uh, the spigot uh, end in there and I open up the, the end of it which is down over there, the whole thing can just drain out in the winter time so I don't have any freezing pipes. What I'm installing right now is going to be the, the spigot on the top here. This whole uh, thing here, I think maybe I'm, I'm going to get this kind of nice and straight later on, maybe uh, dig down around it and make maybe like a stone column, you know, with uh, stones and concrete around it, so it'll look like this thing's kind of coming out of, you know, this this thing of stone, or maybe I'll have a little, maybe I'll have a little wooden box at the top or something so I can access this stuff later. I haven't decided that, but at the moment, what I want to do is get, uh, you know, the stuff attached on here, so when we uh, do connect it on the inside, it's not connected on the inside yet, but when we do connect it on the inside, I'll be able to, uh, uh, you know, actually use the hose out here, run it. Uh, You'll notice I'm putting two of these hose clamps on here, and uh, the reason I do that is just that I've been advised that it's a good idea to have a little redundancy. I'm not a huge fan of these hose clamps because I don't like that I can overly tighten them down and possibly... Well, I, I, I strip these things all the time. When I use the drill, I have to set it on a low power setting so that it doesn't just strip them out. I'm not a huge fan of hardware that, me personally, that I can destroy it with my hands. You know, metal should be stronger than I am. I, you know, maybe if you're like a crazy bodybuilder, it makes sense that you could destroy hardware. But uh, I don't know. Someone like me should not have <laughs> have an easy time ripping screw heads off and all this stuff. So uh, anyway, yeah. For redundancy, I put two of them on there, and I've been advised uh, to do that by other people as well. I'm using a block instead of a hammer to hammer down this little piece of PVC angle on here. Uh, I, I would have loved to have gotten a, a brass one, but uh, couldn't find a brass one. As, as it's PVC, I'm going to be cautious about UV exposure. I, I'm going to put like a shroud around this until I get it covered up because I, I think PVC and UV light don't necessarily love each other or the light loves to destroy the PVC, but yeah. All right, uh, as I put these on, I put them uh, facing in two different directions. So one, I'm going to uh, tighten down from this side, and the other I'll tighten down from the other side. And you hear this drill kind of uh, start clicking as it th does that. That's me uh, turning down the, uh, or the torque so I can't over-tighten it and destroy it. I'm going to do the other side. Here, I'm not sure why it's been recommended that you do them in two different directions. Maybe it's just like an old wives tale, urban legend kind of thing. There we go. Okay, cool. So now, we'll close, leave it open, I guess, from when we get connected. So it can just flush anything right out of this pipe. And, uh, and that's that. Uh, so later on, like I said, I'll make this look a little bit more presentable. For the time being, I'm going to cover this up so that there's not UV light baking that PVC. But this will be a great way of getting water out here to the garden. That's it. Thanks for watering. Thanks for watering? I'm not going to do the whole takeover just because I did that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.